Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a good one for you. It's Cookout Creations by Play-Doh. You guys love Play-Doh and I love Play-Doh. And this looks like a really cool playset. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. I can just get the tape off. <laughs> okay, so I think, looks like this playset is pretty big. The first thing that we need to look at is our instructions. So it looks like we have to put this thing together. Must not be too hard, there's only one page. This is actually really simple. We just press that into place and that is it. It's all put together now. Okay, I am gonna go out on a limb and make a bold statement. I think this is my favorite Play-Doh playset that I've ever opened. <laughs> and I haven't even gotten that far into it, but there's just so much cute stuff. So let's take a look. So one thing that's really cute, so this is the hamburger. And one thing that's really cute is that they put the molds inside the bun. So this is a slice of cheese. This is the patty, like the burger patty. Okay, so there's the bun. Here is the hot dog bun and the mold for the hot dog on the other side. Isn't that clever? Okay, there are a couple of different extruders. So here are two of them. Here's another one, and I actually think, I think this is maybe, based on the pictures I saw, I was thinking this was to make the hot dog out of Play-Doh, but to me that looks like a hot dog mold, so I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll learn as we go. Then they have all of these toppings. So this is tomato and lettuce and onion and hmm, I'm not really sure what that is. I guess we'll figure that out as we go. It comes with several different colors of Play-Doh, brown, orange, green, yellow, red. Another extruder that actually it looks like a mustard, like it's a jar of mustard, but it's an extruder. <laughs> some scissors and then this is another extruder and I think that this is for condiments like to make like to squirt ketchup or mustard oh and we have pickles this is amazing we have a spatula we have a knife and I haven't even shown you the actual grill part yet okay so now let's take a look at the actual grill do you guys know what kebabs are so this is a mold for mushrooms and this is onion and I don't know what that is, but we'll figure it out. And so those are different vegetables that we're going to make out of Play-Doh and then we're gonna place them on here to grill them like kebabs. So you may have had kebabs before. It's usually like alternating meat and vegetables on a stick or a skewer that is grilled. Okay, so we have the extruder on this side. So this is where we will, whoops, come back here, feed these. So that's how we'll use that. And then look over here on this side. So this is little storage space in here, which all the moms will love. Moms and dads will love this because you can store your Play-Doh things in there. And then this is some additional mold. So on this side, you can use it kind of like a table. And on this side, you can use it to make things. There's also some molds in this part. So there's tons of stuff. This is what we'll do when we are grilling our kebabs. We'll rotate them. And then this is like supposed to be the grill. So I love this playset. And then we also have another mold. This looks like a piece of steak. <laughs> and this is a piece of chicken. All right, you ready for the fun? Let's start by making a hamburger. <laughs> okay, so I know these are very popular at barbecues and I actually don't eat beef, so I haven't had a hamburger in a very, very long time, but I thought these looked really good. So we should try to make one. So here is our hamburger patty and you guys, it looks super real. <laughs> it even has like the little lines in it like it was on the grill. Okay, so here's our patty. Next, we're gonna use this mold to make some cheese. And I was trying to decide, I don't know, maybe we should use orange, cause 
That yellow is a little bright. <laughs> I guess cheddar cheese is more of an orangey color. And we'll press that down into our cheese mold. I think the orange was the right way to go. I think this looks better than the yellow would have looked. And let's use the knife to get that out. Uh-oh, is it gonna stick? There we go. We might have to repair that edge a little bit. Okay, now where did our little patty go? <laughs> okay, so what else would we have on a burger? Maybe some lettuce and tomato? I think this is the tomato mold, so we'll press some red into there. Tomatoes are one of my very favorite foods. I especially love to eat in the summer, like really good summer tomatoes. This is kind of a southern thing, but we eat tomato sandwiches, <laughs> which is just tomatoes and a little bit of mayonnaise and salt. Probably sounds kind of weird to some of you, but it's delicious. Okay, so here is our tomato, and then we have some green for a piece of lettuce. And this is also a trick for getting Play-Doh out of mold. You just grab it with another piece of Play-Doh. Okay, so here is our lettuce and our tomato. This is looking delicious. And I don't know about you guys, but I really love pickles. So let's make some pickles. There we go. Ooh, those turned out great. Look at all of the detail in those. Those molds are really, really good. Okay, let's build our hamburger again. All right, so let's do, we'll do so that we can kind of vary the color. We'll do our lettuce, our tomato, and our pickle. And then, hmm, let's try to make some mustard. We're going to use this extruder and there are several different settings. So just a regular tube. I'm gonna use this one because it just kind of looks like a blob. So we're gonna use this one to make some mustard. So we'll press our yellow Play-Doh in and let's see how it looks. <laughs> this extruder is kind of hard to push because these don't stick out farther. Usually the extruders have almost like a little thing that you can hold on to. Okay. So here is our blob of mustard. That's kind of a lot of mustard, isn't it? <laughs> and now we can put our bun on. Oh, we can't see the mustard. Let's load our extruder again. But this time, let's try this one. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. What if we take these and kind of drape them around the edge like that? That's more of how mustard looks anyway, right? And there, now we have a delicious cheeseburger. Next, I think we should make a hot dog. So we're gonna use this extruder that's on the grill this time. And I've already loaded up the red Play-Doh and I want to use this because I'm curious about something. Does that look like about the right length for our hot dog? I think so. And I think these scissors are perfect for cutting off. Let's see, we'll go a little bit longer. Oh, they are. These are really actually perfect for cutting this. So those must be exactly what those are for. So here is our hot dog and it fits perfectly in the bun. Now, some of you might think this is strange, but I actually really like pickles on hot dogs. So let's make a couple of pickles to slide in there. And then I also like mustard and ketchup. And if I can't have regular pickles, then sometimes I have pickle relish, <laughs> which is really just chopped up pickles. So it's kind of the same thing. Okay, let's get our pickle out of there. There we go. Okay, so now we have our pickles and our hot dog, and I think we should add some mustard. 
This time we're going to use the extruder that has the star shapes. Oh, this will be perfect. All right. What do you think? Okay, I think that these are also going to be burger buns. So I just want to try these out and make another type of a burger. Yep, I think this is the bottom of the bun. <laughs> if we can get this one out, I think it's the top. So we would put them together like that. And I think the middle one is the patty. So maybe we can make, this one can be like a veggie burger. And that's what that looks like. So there's our little burger patty and our top and bottom bun. So what do you think that we should add? I guess lettuce, tomato, and maybe some ketchup and mustard? Here's some mustard, and we need to make some ketchup. To make the ketchup, let's try this extruder. I think it'll make kind of like a big blob. So we can do that, and then we can just add it. Oh, that is a big <laughs> blob of ketchup. <laughs> okay, so there's our veggie burger. <laughs> I think our veggie burger needs another piece of lettuce. There. That is really tall, isn't it? Next, we're going to use these molds to make our kebabs. Okay, this part is really neat. So we're gonna press this down, and that's what we're going to do to get the Play-Doh onto the skewer. But first, what we wanna do is put our Play-Doh in the bottom. So let's see. So I think this is an onion. So I'm gonna press that there and put a little bit here. And I think this is a mushroom. This could be really messy doing them all at once because the Play-Doh might all kind of blend in to the molds, but like the molds next to them, but it'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, so we got that. Now, I think this is a shrimp. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but Brandon and I looked at it and kind of played around with it, and we have decided that it is a shrimp. And that's something that would normally be on a kebab, so that makes sense. Okay, so now we press the skewer down into the Play-Doh. Press this down. Oh boy, and look at that. This is one of the best Play-Doh sets that I have ever used. I think this is so cool. Here is a closer look. See how neat that turned out? Now we can just lower the grill. There, <laughs> whoa. And we can grill our vegetables and shrimp. We've made a couple of burgers and a hot dog, but we haven't made any steak. So what if we make a piece of steak and then put that on the grill and we can have that grilling alongside our kebabs. <laughs> okay, we'll pull off the excess Play-Doh and put that right on the grill. Let's give our kebabs a turn. <laughs> Turned right back to the way I had it, there. This is really cute and I hadn't noticed it until just a minute ago, but on the back of these little extruders, there are molds. So we can make ketchup and mustard and I think this is a hot dog. <laughs> so that makes sense because I think this is a hot dog bun. So let's try that next. Okay, now we can try making the bun. This is kind of weird though, because it's only half. <laughs> hmm, I don't 
don't know if that's a bun. I'm not really sure what else it could be, but let's see if the hot dog fits inside. Yep, I think it's a bun. And now we have a hot dog with mustard. So this is gonna be our little container of mustard. And then we're gonna do one of ketchup. And then there are still a couple of molds that I want to try. <laughs> There's so many things to do with this playset. Okay, there's our little container of mustard. That's cute. Let's see, I'll set that there. And let's make ketchup. All right, so now we have ketchup and mustard. This is one of the molds that we haven't tried yet. And I'm pretty sure that this is another burger bun. So that's cool because that means that we can make lots of different sizes. Of course, it comes with the big plastic one, but then there is a larger one. I think this is one as well. So let's see, let's check it out. Yep. So that is the bread. Now let's try another patty. And here is the patty using this mold. I'm actually gonna put that on the grill with our steak. And while that is grilling, we'll use this mold, which we haven't tried yet. I think this is an onion. So we're just gonna make a red onion. There it is, and we can take that and gently place that on top of our burger. And now I can just wait for everything to cook. And that's it for Cookout Creations. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.